What's up, everybody? Scotty P here. I am smoking a freehand, my Nording freehand. It is a Friday. Kind of a gray day. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. It's supposed to get like a half foot of snow, which bums me out <laughs> to no end because that means I won't be golfing for at least a couple weeks until that snow clears out. Anyway, in this morning, smoking something new. Some Savinelli 140th year anniversary, which is an interesting blend. Um, only smoked it a couple times so far. This is part of the, the abos that I'm doing today. Uh, my initial impressions are they haven't changed. Um, kind of tastes like honey crisp apple. And um, on the retro hail, you get a little bit of caramel and a little bit of um, like pollen y sort of fresh flowers kind of but not Lakeland Lee floral just you know fresh flowers kind of smell on the retro hail anyway don't want to get too far into that there was a review by Gray Bailey back in September that I encourage you to go check out if you're at all interested in this blend because he said it all I'm really not going to be able to add much to it at least not yet so yeah but sort of um, I got some stuff in from my, my, um, Black Friday purchases and, um, I already kind of opened some of them. So, uh, I got, a, a I got this, this blend in from the, from the pipe nook from Eddie Gray. And I, I wanted to mention this because I love ordering stuff from Eddie cause he's, he's one of us. He's part of the crowd and, you know, could have put a face to the company and all that stuff. And he always writes nice notes on the, on the invoice and everything like that. Always get stuff out super quick. So, and also, I've gotten some awesome, awesome dates on the tobaccos. A lot of the tobaccos. Most of the tobaccos i gotten from them. A lot of stuff from 2014, which is incredible. So, I'm psyched about that because I get to jumpstart my cellar, which is great. Um, the, other, the other one that I got, um, which I've opened, but I haven't really gone through everything yet, uh, is from Pipes and Cigars because they had a lot of buy one, get one freeze going on. So... I jumped on that. I was going to do this Yabo last Friday, but it was dark by the time I was done with work. And today I had an easier day, so it's not really bright out because it's cloudy, but it's not dark either. So we could kind of do this at least somewhat effectively. We throw this pipe down and uh, start digging through this stuff. So, like I said, got a lot of buy one, get one freeze, freeze so um, I'm not going to show you two tins or whatever. I'll just show you one of each. Got some uh, some Russell Letts Creek Blend uh, B41. Yeah, B41, which, uh, you know I like vapors, and uh, this one has vapors with, uh, with a little bit of Kentucky in it, which I've been smoking a lot of Kentucky stuff lately, so I'm psyched about this one. Uh, they had or or like buy one, get one free, but uh, the Golden Slice was, was out by the time I got to it, so I got some Mellow Mixture, because I'm going to check that out. What else here? Murray's. Murray's. I like, uh, not Interdale. Uh, I'm blanking on this here. Anyway, give me a second. Uh, Murray's 1921 Cunningham. They had a, a bunch of um, a bunch of Englishes. I think this is English. No, this is a vapor. <laughs> I lied. Uh, so another vapor, which I dig. I have never tried half and half, so I got some half and half. I'm gonna give it a shot. Ah, some GLPs. Which, there was one that I was going to get. I forget which one it was. They were out of that too. But, I got some six pence because I'm looking forward to trying that out. I can't exactly remember what's in here. But I got figure, I got a feeling that there's some, some Kentucky in it. Because I've really been into Kentucky blends lately. I'm going to be doing a, a review on uh, Lakeland Dark soon. Which is, oh my god, that's such an awesome blend. Galwith Hogarth's uh, Lakeland Dark. Sam Galwith? One of those two. One of the Galwiths. I also got Meridian, and i uh, looking forward to checking that out. That's, uh, okay, this is uh, in English. Let's see here. Latakia, Virginia, small leaf orientals, then pressed and sliced and tumbled into ribbons. Cool. Never been dissatisfied with any GLPs that I've tried, so I figured what the heck. I was on a big GLP submission with all this, and uh, unfortunately they didn't have everything that I wanted. So, those are the two that I got. Also got some velvet, 
because I've never tried velvet, and that was buy one get one free. So a couple of a uh, couple of bags of velvet there. Uh, it's another Murray's Twenty King Twenty One. Got some cabbies mixture because I was getting low, and this is definitely one of my vape, my favorite vapors of all times. Cabbies mixture, very very rich blend, plenty of perique. It's um, it doesn't have the floral liquidy thing going on, but it has their really rich Virginia's. So I dig that. Probably making a ton of noise with this. Sorry, I'm trying to go through this kind of quick so I don't take up too much of your Friday. All right, Murray's. 1A Linfield, I think. Yeah, they're right. this one's in English. So, Virginia's Orientals and Latakia. Two tens of that. And some John Cotton's. I could have swore I ordered. I swore I ordered more John Cotton's, but I guess I didn't. Uh, but I got number three. I think because I was looking at them, there was like a number one and number two, a one and two mixture. And number three, and I think number three was a little more, uh, well, this one's Virginia Orientals, Lada Key, and Perique, so that's probably why I got it. It's probably a little stronger, because I really, I'm not huge into mild blends. I, I wanted to be, I wanted to have a little substance to them, because at heart, I've been a cigar smoker for a long, long time, and I've only been smoking pipes since... The end of February of this year. So, anyway, the really, really mild blends don't really do it for me unless they have it's like mild nicotine or strength, but a lot of flavor, like classic Samson. I dig that. Uh, some of those um, Oriental blends that you get from McClellan's. There's a there's a lot of flavor and aroma going on. Um, but not a lot of strength. So you could always add something to it. Uh, you know, like cut a plug and throw it in there some of the rope tobaccos and, and mix them up. So anyway, that's what's going on. Just wanted to say hello to y'all because it is Friday and it's kind of my thing. So don't have a lot going on right now. And, uh, and I, I ordered all this tobacco. Um, I told myself that I wasn't going to order any more tobacco for the rest of the year, but they were great deals. So it gave me a chance to throw some stuff in the cellar and um, and get some stuff that I might not have otherwise purchased because it was buy one, get one free, and I figured, what the heck, take a flyer. You could always trade stuff if you don't dig it, right? I like doing trades. So that's what's that. No, I've always said there's not a lot of um, not a lot of tobacconists in Connecticut, and there really aren't. It's mostly cigars around here, mostly cigar shops. And <clears throat> if you happen to look onto a cigar shop that has a few tins of something, it's usually Dunhill, and it's usually like sixteen bucks a tin <laughs> or more. And uh, I, I've I've bought a few of those tins just because they were super old. I figured I'd get something that was aged. Um, so, you know, apart from that, there's really not a lot going on. I did get a line on a few different uh, tobacconists around here that, that do carry some pipe stuff. So there's one in New Haven right near Yale. So I'm going to go check them out. I, I know I've been there before to smoke cigars. It's really a cigar bar. But um, they do have some house plants. So I'm going to check them out. I know they carry they carry bulk on Dunhill and, and a few other things, but... They're probably not heavy into pipes, but they've got some things, so I'll go and check that out. Since it's winter time and since it's getting cold and, uh, and all that stuff, it'll give me a place to go and check out. It's also supposed to be one out out near Matches on the other side of the state there, uh, over near the airport. So I might go check that out and see what they got going on. And that seems to be more of a pipe shop, so that might be worth the trip just to see what there is to see, you know. So that's what I got going on. I want to say thanks to all my old subs. Thanks to all the new subs. I got a bunch of new subs. And um, and I really, really appreciate y'all. And I, you know, I, I don't say this enough. But I really, what I like about the YTPC is the interaction. So I really appreciate all the comments I get. And I appreciate, you know, the, the back and forth. Because sometimes it's not just, you know, 
hey, thanks for checking out, and thanks for the response, and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes there's there's more back and forth and back and forth going on to one little chain of comments. So I really dig that. So um, thanks to all of you. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I try to keep up with the videos. Uh, now that I'm subbed to a whole lot of people, it's tough to keep up with everything all the time. But um, if I know I haven't seen somebody's videos in a while, I'll go check out one of their new ones and... Uh, I don't get to comment as much as I get to watch because a lot of times I'm listening to videos as I'm driving down the road. I kind of, you know, have the phone going and I'm, you know, driving so I can't really, really watch and I can't stop to make a comment. But um, uh, at the very least, I do give a lot of thumbs up. So uh, anyway, folks, that's what I got for you. Anything else would just be rambling. Uh, I'll try and think of a good topic for next Friday, but figured I'd share the little yabo with y'all since uh, everybody seems like a good old yabo. <laughs> I know I do. Anyway, folks, it's Friday. It's Freehand Friday. Smoke one if you got one. Thanks for checking in, and thanks to all of you. Uh, take it easy, YPC. Salute.